Hello there. In this episode, I'm going to talk about three numbers. The first one is about the aspect ratio of a cell. And the second one will be about a, a, a formula to work out the cell area of the cell uh, much quicker than uh, using the Simpson rule. And the, the third one will be about the scale. How to scale up or down a drawing to get the, the cell area that you want for your boat. So the first one is the aspect ratio. Uh, it's a number that has no unit and it is used to compare cell of, uh, of same geometry. For example, this one with this one there, which has three head panels instead of two. The cell area is 32 square meters for both of them. And it seems quite different, but they are actually the same. And we've got this third one here, which is 36 square meters. It's got five panels in the lower part of the cell and three in the head. But if you work out the aspect ratio, they will all be around 2.1. And basically, what it tells you is uh, how tall and wide the cell is in comparison to another one. Uh, it's not very useful, but I mean, if you visit forums and you, see, you hear people talking about the, the aspect ratio of their cell, I mean, this is something people like to do. So you have to know uh, what it is, basically. Uh, so the second topic is uh, a quick formula, actually it's here. It's a quick formula to work out the area of your cell without using the Simpson uh, formula. We see it, we saw it in part two. And it gave us uh, a cell area of 32.5 square meters. Now this is precise to about 99%. But in practice, we work out the cell, the, the area, in multiplying the width by the height of the cell by a coefficient 0.8. And for this type of cell, we'll have the, uh, the cell area right away. And for this example here, we've got uh, the area of 32.81 square meters. Now if you compare it with, uh, with a Simpson uh, formula that gave us a, for, um, a cell area of 32.5 square meters, this one is slightly higher, 32.81, but this is this one, the right one. So uh, let's see how, how do we get that coefficient 0.8. So what it is basically is this construction. You've got your cell here. You box it into a, you take this, uh, this edge there at an angle and you slide it up to the peak. Then you box it. And what you get here is a parallelogram uh, that contain our cell. We know the surface area of our cell is 32 and a half square meters. We can work out the area of a parallelogram, which is fairly easy, is the width by the length of the height for us. And this will give us, uh, how can I say, no, this, if you make the difference between the two, 
you will notice that this uh, excess area here is about 20% of uh, the area of a parallelogram. So if this is 20% and we don't want it, the inside there of our cell is 80%, which is 0.8. So when you draw a cell, the only thing you have to know to work out the surface area is the width and the height of the cell from the peak to the boom of the cell. And you multiply it by 0.8. So that's it for the for this formula. And the next topic is the scale. How do you scale down a drawing to get the, the cell area you want? So this is very easy to do. Let's say that you want a cell area of 28 square meters. You've got one which is 32 square meters. So what we are talking here is ratio, basically. So if you divide 28 by 32, you get a ratio 0.875, which is roughly 87%. 87.5%. That means that the cell, your 28 square meter cell, will be 87.5% of a 32 square meter one. So if you use the same ratio with a scale, you will get a smaller scale, the one you want to work out your uh, measurements for your new cell. So 40 multiply by 0.875 gives about 35, which is a scale in 1 in 35. So for this scale here, uh, for this cell here, if you want a 28 square meter cell, you take all the measurements you have and you multiply them by 35, by 35 instead of 40, and you will get a 28 square meter cell. And if you want a bigger cell, well, this is exactly the same, but you will get a ratio with a one, one something. And the calculation in this case will be, let's say you want 40 square meter cell, you will get a scale of one in 50. Now, for people who don't use a metric system, uh, let's say you want a, uh, you've got the square feet of a cell and you want square meters so uh, one square foot being 0 0.093 square meters you simply have to multiply your square feet by 0 0.093 and you get uh, your square meters and from there you go back to the uh, to the calculation So that's it for now. I hope. Uh, hang on, no, it's not it. No, I'm going to talk about this cell here before. So to draw this cell here, this is the same one we saw in part one. All the measurements are the same, except that in the head you've got two buttons instead of one. So you've got one more, one more fruit here. And so the third button will be at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizon to like this. The second one there, 50. And the, the peak of this, uh, the yard of the cell will be at 70 degrees. And uh, that's it for the difference between these two cells. The area is exactly the same. And uh, you see a lot of these ones on boats. This one there is, I don't know, it's not so popular actually. But um, 
that's how it is. So yeah, that's the end for this uh, this episode. And in the next one, I'm going to carry on drawing um, one or two other type of cells. Uh, that will be the it, uh, that will be the end of this series. Bye and see you.